Hello, this is Bon Bon B's Guide to Theme Management. I'm Bon Bon B and you are very, very welcome. Come you know, girl. If you're watching this, you've probably wondered how other players have managed to get the game to grow in houses of the same style in the road or housing estate. Well, wonder no longer, it's easier than it looks, and I'm going to show you the absolute basics. After that, you can work your creativity in whichever way you want. So first of all, get yourself onto the workshop and do a search for building theme. Click search, and in the corner you'll see building themes per district. Subscribe to that, you'll need that. Now there are plenty of building themes actually on the workshop that you can do a search for, but uh, we're going to build our own. So do a look through uh, all the buildings. I've clicked building, and we're going to have a look at a low density residential. I'll scroll through these and basically find whichever sort of buildings you want in your district or your street or whatever. It doesn't have to be residential, you could go commercial or whatever. And then boot up the game, go to Content Manager, click Mods, and then scroll down and somewhere around there will be Building Themes. Activate that and it'll warn you and you understand and then off you go. And then you load up your existing game or a new game. So it's our symmetrical road layout, uh, at the bottom click districts and then click the little blue uh, button there and then colour in your district. Now here we're working with two sides of the map, the left hand side of the map will be with vanilla settings and the right hand side of the map we're going to be working with our district settings. So I'm just going to tidy this up because I'm a little bit anal like that, I want a bit of room for the uh, zoning around the outside. That's a little bit better, a little bit tidier. Once you've done that, click on the name and rename it to something that you like. I'm going to call this, um, I know, tut Tutorialville, because why not? It seems appropriate and relevant. Once you've done that, click on the uh, name again. I didn't need to click off. Click Themes. This is where the fun begins. Enable theme management for this district do that and then the big theme manager button at the bottom we're going to create a new theme here so click new theme like that and give the theme a name and <laughs> tutorial one works for me but obviously whatever's suitable for you now this top bar here this is where you can choose the items now we've got some nice low density residential buildings that we've just found on uh, the workshop Anyway, scroll through all of these and basically once you've found some that you like, that you particularly want for your zoning, um, click uh, the little highlight button there and one there. Right, we're working with those two and while we're at it, let's have a look at the high density. So just add a little bit of contrast, that'll do. Yeah, we don't need more than one, just not for this, not for a tutorial. Of course, you can be as creative as you like. Now, uh, once you've done that, select the theme from the uh, drop down, which we've just done there, and close all your boxes. And that area, the uh, district on the left there is completely vanilla, and the one on the right is now set to those buildings only that we've selected, which is great. So now let's uh, do some zoning. Now, on the left, I'm going to do it um, noob style, I'm just going to zone in everything. If you zone in everything, that's fine, don't get me wrong, it works fine, but you're here to learn something new so what we'll do is I'm just going to zone in everything as you do when you're new and as I did when I was new and as I do now sometimes when I'm just lazy and now right we're going to go across to uh, the other side now this time rather than zoning everything I know the shapes of the buildings that I have downloaded 3b2s and 3b3s and I'm just going to choose exactly where I want these buildings to go and of course if it's a 3b2 uh, box only the 3b2 building will fit in there. Now with the high density oh, we um, found some uh, 4b2s or 2b4s even so I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that they're not all going to clump together too tightly so I've got some 4x4 spaces there yeah that's fine we can grow in two alongside each other and then over here same again that's better and one over there down the side just a couple 
So anyway, that'll do. That'll do for now. Okay. So that's everything. Um, I've got power. I've got water. Um, we're about to hit a time lapse. And during the time lapse, you'll notice that we um, get a few fast cuts. And that's because during the time lapse, I've realized that um, I haven't provided um, police or fire services or um, waste collections or anything like that. But let's see how the game builds in these buildings and so on with the time lapse and on the left as i say the vanilla settings and this is pretty much what you get normally and then on the right of course the buildings that we have specially selected for this zone for tutorialville at the back there the high density you can see it's less um ramshackle it's just a whatever we've uh, selected oh, sorry a few deaths here we forgot crematoriums but this was just a tutorial um, in the far distance over there was some industrial, that was just to get the town growing. Nothing to do with what we're working with here at all. But there, as you can see, we have got all the same buildings, all spawned in. It's not the best city plan you've ever seen, but it does give you a pretty good idea of how you can get on and do a better looking town. So anyway, I've been Bomb Bomb B. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, and I hope to catch you again very very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.